I'm on the subject of a very powerful position, our position in Christ. So stay tuned for the teaching. I'm talking about, of course, the fact that we're a new creation in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.17 tells us, of course, that, with that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. We're no longer the old. Those that have, that have come into relationship with God through Jesus Christ, we are no longer alone. We're now a new creation. In our spirit, everything is new. This physical flesh suit may look the same, but it's what's on the inside of us. You know, Ephesians chapter two, verse four says, but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. Goes on to say, by grace you have been saved in this particular translation, but made us alive together with Christ. You know, the King James talks about being quickened. And this word is talking about being reanimated. In other words, restored to this newness of life. It's where Jesus is, it goes on to say, cojointly with quickened together. In other words, we are no longer alone. Jesus now is on the inside of us, the very Godhead, the presence of God is within us. And we're cojointly reanimated with this newness of life. We're no longer by ourselves. We've got Jesus. I can say it another way. It's like an unfair advantage, so to speak, and because we've got the sp- Jesus. We've got what unbelievers don't have. We have Jesus. And that is a blessing, praise God, that we've got Christ on the inside of us. And we now need to identify with who we are in Christ, identify with the life of Christ that's been put on the same on the inside of us, because you see, By identifying with him instead of us, we end up becoming the truth that we identify with, the truth that comes alive within us. When we come to identify that Jesus is within us, it's not just me anymore having to face the circumstances of life, but I've got the life of Christ on the inside of me. I've got his presence. I've got Jesus with me. I've got the Holy Spirit as my teacher. I can learn to depend upon him. I can come to know his voice. John 10, 27 says, my sheep know my voice. We can come to listen and receive the wisdom that James 1, 5 promises. We are not by ourselves. We don't have to live life with a dependency on the arm of the flesh. We've got his spirit working in us and working through us. Praise God. You know, 1 John chapter 5, verse 4 says, Every child of God can defeat the world, and our faith is what gives us the victory. No one can defeat the world without having faith in Jesus as the Son of God. I tell you, Jesus is our source of life. Every child of God can defeat, the, can, can defeat the world. And in the context of the world, of course, we're talking about all the circumstances of life. The devil coming to still kill and destroy, or the devil working through circumstances or in individuals. In other words, we've got the victory in Jesus. We are already are overcomers. Every child of God can defeat the world. Because of Jesus, his presence on the inside of you, you're not alone. You've got Jesus. You must always live from a place of victory, from a place of who you are in Christ. Because if you don't, you'll face life circumstances in the arm of the flesh. You'll see them as being more powerful than Jesus, who's on the inside of you, who's giving you the victory. You know, 2 Corinthians 1.20, for all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. All the promises of God in him are always yes. They always belong to us. Ephesians 1, 3 tells us that we're blessed. It says, blessed be the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. And of course, we're talking about the blessings when it says the heavenly places, then we may be the ones living on this earth. We may be the ones living in a physical flesh suit, but we have what unbelievers, again, that don't have. We've got this, we are blessed of God. We've got spiritual blessings. And we need to learn to live from the fact that in Christ, I am blessed. We need to identify with the blessings, identify spiritually with our position in Christ, because together with him, we're in a very powerful position. <music> 